Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Wednesday, January 24, 2024. I pray that the Lord will be with you today. I pray that he will provide for your needs. I pray that he will protect you and your families. And may he continue to watch over you. Our reading today comes to us from Matthew chapter 7, reading verse 7 to 11. And it says, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Verse 8 says, For everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. Verse 9, Or what man is there of you, whom, if his son asks bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? Verse 11 and last, If ye then be in evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children. How much more shall your Father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask Him? And I say, Amen. We give God thanks this morning for His Holy Word. And as we read these readings, may they inspire and encourage our hearts as we continue to serve the Lord. Now the reading this morning encourages us that we need to ask God what we want of Him. He says that whatever we, we want, whatever we need, we should ask. He says what? Knock and the door will be open. Ask and it shall be given unto us. And so the invitation is given to us to come to him. And through this experience, we also, we bond with him. We build and strengthen our relationship with God. So don't just sit on the sideline and say, God already know my need, man. So I don't need to go to him and ask. Yes, he knows your need, but he wants to build a relationship with you with me so when he says come to him and ask is not that he doesn't already know your need but he, he wants you to feel comfortable coming to him as a friend as your god as your savior as your father and ask and as the reading says that if your child comes to you and asks you for bread you will not give him a stone and if he asks for fish you will not give him a serpent you're going to give him the best that you have. You're going to give he or she the best that you have. Isn't that so? And so the reading went on to say that then if you will give your child the best that you have, don't you believe that God will give you the best that he has? Yes, because his love for us stretched far beyond human understanding and comprehension. And so, when we think about all that God has been doing on our behalf, we know that He has our best interests at heart. And He says that it's not like we are even good in the first place, but yet still we try to give good, good gifts. True? And so, with that in mind, I know we have our different needs. Maybe it is that you need a, 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 a spiritual breakthrough. Maybe it is that you, you, you need improved health. Maybe it is that you want God to intervene in your family life. Whatever it is, maybe it is your job, maybe it is school. He says, ask. And whatever you ask of him, as long as it is in accordance with his will, and as long as he sees that it is good for you, then you can be assured that He will grant it unto you. So may God continue to bless you as you continue to seek Him and as we all continue to walk in His statue. 
Enjoy the rest of your day. And God bless you. Amen.